Those severe costs, that is President Biden's vow as the U.S. hits Russia with new economic sanctions. The deadly invasion has now taken over key landmarks in Ukraine. Omaha's news leader is live tonight with team coverage, including reaction from immigrants. We'll start with Waverly Monroe live with what's happening right now in Ukraine. Waverly. Well, since Russia attacked David and Alexandra last night, at least 57 Ukrainians have been killed and 100 more wounded. Now hundreds of more Ukrainians are fleeing the country or hiding underground. The Russian military declares war on Ukraine, launching more than 100 missiles overnight as hundreds seek shelter underground. And we don't want to be a part of Russia or any other country. And then Thursday, this tweet from Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky saying Russian forces are trying to take control of Chernobyl. The fight is uh, going right there with Ukrainian National Guard protecting the Chernobyl station from the attack. During the unrest, this subway turns into a bomb shelter for many. It's really getting very emotional. And I cannot believe it's happening, really. And others leaving Ukraine altogether. Here's video of people fleeing across the border into Poland. But those staying hope Europe and the U.S. will stop Putin. Because I don't believe that he will just stop, uh, or that it will be a quick war. And I don't want any people to die here in my land. And we know an additional 7,000 U.S. troops are being sent to Germany to reassure NATO allies. As I made crystal clear, the United States will defend every inch of NATO territory with the full force of American power. And after an emergency G7 meeting, Biden imposes what he calls devastating sanctions targeting key Russian banks. That means every asset they have in America will be frozen. Across the world, we've heard several countries' leaders say this invasion has aligned NATO now more than ever. President Biden says he has no intention of speaking with President Putin at this moment and does not believe this conflict will last very long.